Hello folks, welcome in to another FC24 Tactics video here on the channel. I'm Ash, as always, and this time around we are returning to Italy with Stefano Pioli's AC Milan Tactics, the 4-2-3-1. We're going to get stuck into it. So with that being said, let's roll the intro and get stuck into it. So thank you very much for joining me, everyone. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed the video and you want to see more. Today we're discussing Pioli's Milan tactics. So first things first, let's talk about the position changes. As I've already alluded to here, we've got this 4-2-3-1 shape. Now, what you're going to want to go with, you're going to go want to go with the 4-2-1-3 in the game. And then there are a couple of position changes here. First things first, Calabria, you want to move him up to right wing back, but also make sure you bring him in centrally so that he's as close as to the defensive midfielder as you can possibly get. This is so as to help him invert. With Fernandes, you're also going to want to push him up to left wing back, but this time you can keep him further wider as he will have a balance variation with regards to his runs. Then with Rinders in central midfield, you actually want to move him from defensive midfield up to CM. What this is going to do is going to push him further forward as opposed to Ben Asser, who is more of the anchor man and will stay back more often than not. Let's talk about the tactics then, but before we do, if you want to see how these tactic ranks and rates compared to all of the other tactics that I've covered on the channel, you want access to exclusive tactics videos that you can only get access to, not on YouTube, but on Patreon. You want to see behind the scenes videos such as my role as a professional football scout and what that entails, visiting games and scouting games live and behind the scenes as well as Discord server access and a whole lot more. Check out my Patreon, the best way to support the channel, and I can say this without a doubt that without my patrons this channel would no longer be going they are what is keeping the channel alive and i want to say a huge thank you to each and every one of you who have decided to support the channel with your hard-earned money because that is what is cheap keeping this channel going so i want to say a huge huge thank you to you with regards to those tactical instructions then we've got press after possession loss from defensive style perspective then the team width is on 30 the lowest you can have it on balance before it becomes narrow the depth is on 70 giving you a high block and then moving on to the defensive side of the ball we've got slow build up for the build up play and then the chance creation is forward runs the width is on 17 you're going to notice a shape that's very stretched out creating a lot of width and there's a lot of gaps in between each vertical line and then the players in the box is up to six giving you roughly four players in the box in those crossing situations finally the corners are free kicks both of these are on four so what about the player instructions then well Starting off with Mike Mignon in gold, who's having a worldy of a season as always. Comes for crosses, for saving on crosses, and then he's saving outside the box. He's only on balance. With regards to the two centre-backs, both of these, you don't need to change any of their player instructions. Calabria, as we've already alluded to, he's that inverted fullback. So as a result, his run type is inverted, and his attacking runs are on during the attack. Hernandez, on the other hand, is slightly different. He's on joining the attack still. He's an extremely attacking fullback, but his run type is only on mixed this time as he will sometimes invert, sometimes he'll overlap layout. He'll really just be dictated by that. But either way, he is a huge part of their attacking moves. With Benacer in defensive midfield, he's on cut passing lanes for his defensive behaviour and his attacking support is stay back whilst attacking. As we said, he is more of that out and out anchor man. His defensive position is cover centre and his positioning freedom is deep lying playmaker that will get him roaming around into those pockets. Rinders, as we spoke about, is the more advanced forward, but you actually don't need to make any changes to him. Balanced attack, balanced crossing runs, stick to position and cover wing. All of these will work nicely. Ruben Loftus-Cheek then is that more of an attacking midfielder, very much a box-to-box, -box, but will be more advanced than the other two centre midfielders. He's on comeback on defence for his defensive support, his support on crosses are getting to the box of the cross, and his position freedom is stick to position. Let's talk about the wingers then. Starting off with Pulisic on the right-hand side. He's on comeback on defence. Make sure he's tracking back. His chance creation is stay wide. Going to be very wide. Create the whip. Stay on the touchline. And then his support runs are getting behind. Support on crosses is getting to the box of the cross. Slightly different with Raphael Leao over on the other side. This time his defence support is only on basic. You'll notice he is a little bit more lazy in that regard. And sometimes he's going to track back. He will put more of the burden onto someone like Hernandez, for example. So it's that's on basic. But otherwise, it's very much the same. Stay wide for chance creation. Support runs getting behind and getting to the box for the cross. Now, with Olivier Giroud over up front, we have got stay central for his support runs. His attacking runs is target man. And then his defence support is stay forward. And so we're going to round it off there. If you found this one helpful, as always, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload. And obviously, don't forget to check out my Patreon. All the links are down below. The best way to support the channel. 
and absolutely there are so many perks i cannot begin to explain so i think you guys will really enjoy that so with that being said we're going to finish it there thank you so much for watching and until the next one i will see you soon